Welcome friends to the new camera.com channel and today we are comparing Canon EOS M6 Mark II camera with the Sony A6100 camera. In next 6 to 7 minutes I am going to discuss the major differences between the two so you can decide which camera you should buy. Now let's move on. Let's talk about the sensor. In Canon M6 Mark II camera we have a newly developed 32 megapixel sensor. One of the biggest advantage of having a higher resolution sensor is that you can recompose your shots later. When you are editing your shots and if you feel that you want a cut from a side, then of course at those times high resolution images do help a lot. Now let's move on. The disadvantage of having a higher resolution sensor. One of the biggest disadvantages is that we do have a limited low light performance. At the same time, each pixel area of Sony A6100 camera sensor is approximately 40% larger than of Canon M6 Mark II. So literally, having a larger pixel area will help to get better low light images. Although we do have same ISO range, same expandable ISO range in the specification sheet, but it doesn't matter. And very soon I will going to also publish the high ISO test images of both the camera. But at the same time, due to the nature of the sensor and the type of technology used to create both the sensor, we will going to have at least one or two stock of difference in the low light performance of both the camera. Sony A6100 camera will going to perform with better in the low light test. But how much better? For example, if you are shooting an image at ISO 3200 with your Canon M6 Mark II camera and the level of noise you are getting in that image will be equal if you shot the same image with a Sony at ISO 6400 or ISO 12800. Sony A6001 camera is not so good in the low light situation because the camera do produces better low light images but at the same time the autofocus sensitivity of Sony is not as good as of M6 Mark II camera. Sony A6002 camera have a limited autofocus sensitivity in low light environment. At the same time the autofocus coverage of Canon is huge. You are getting more than 5000 autofocusing zones or you can say autofocusing points with the Canon M6 Mark II camera. Whereas with Sony, we are limited to 425 phase air points and 425 contrast air points. So if you talk about low light autofocusing performance, Canon M6 Mark II camera will going to perform better. So in Sony A6100 camera, you are getting bit cleaner low light images. At the same time, the AF sensitivity of the camera is not so good. Whereas in Canon, the autofocus sensitivity and the autofocusing point coverage is really great. At the same time, the resolution is much more than of Sony. But we do have an issue that we will not going to have low light performance as good as of Sony A6100 camera. Now let's move forward. Let's talk about the continuous shooting speed of both the camera. With the M6 Mark II camera, we have a faster DZIC 8 image processor. And despite of having a higher resolution sensor, we are getting much faster frame rates in the M6 Mark II camera compared to Sony with a lower resolution sensor. Not only faster frame rates, the AF coverage of Canon is more. So more or less if you are a sports shooter, you must go with the Canon M6 Mark II camera. Now let's talk about the video part of both the camera. Both camera gives us same 4K video resolution. So more or less you will be getting same 4K video output from both the camera. Now let's talk in details. We do have more autofocus points in Canon. More than 5000 autofocusing points or zones whatever you can say. So the autofocusing performance of Canon will going to be a bit more better in low light or any situation where you are in compared to Sony A6100 camera. But with Sony we do have one great advantage. Sony cameras do have excellent eye tracking capability as well as face tracking capability. So when you have some specific needs that you want to track your subject's eye or when you are doing or when you are creating a self log then Sony cameras will help them more than of Canon. Although the autofocusing part of both the cameras is just excellent. 
you will not going to face any issues in both of the camera now let's talk about the 4k video quality in general sony camera captures a 6k video file then down samples it to 4k so you get more detailed 4k image with bit better color output and more dynamic range in canon we do not have such features so if you are one who edit their videos too much who does shadow recovery details on all that in the videos then of course a6100 camera is made for you and if you are a casual style editor if you create lifestyle videos and invest with little time in the editing of your videos then you should go with the canon m6 mark 2 camera of course the video quality of a6100 camera in 4k mode is better than of canon m6 mark 2 at the same time due to limited autofocus sensitivity in low light we may face some issues when you are capturing your videos in low light environment so you have to consider that fact also in video mode we do have one more advantage with the m6 mark 2 camera the m6 mark 2 camera gives us a option to use digital image stabilization in synchronization with the lens based optical image stabilization so when you are creating your vlogs on the go when you are working on creating your vlogs you may activate the digital is of the camera to get more stable footage the digital is work in synchronization with the optical is of the lens now let's wrap up all these things with the canon m6 mark 2 camera you are getting high resolution sensor a6100 camera gives you better low light performance but again with the m6 mark 2 camera you are getting better auto focus sensitivity in low light environment and more af coverage with 5000 auto focusing points so canon will be doing bit better af compared to sony in different shooting environments because the auto focus sensitivity of canon is more at the same time the auto focus coverage of canon is slightly better than of sony a6100 camera now let's wrap up the video mode of both the camera the video quality of sony a6100 camera in 4k mode is of course better than of canon m6 mark 2 camera but if you are a casual style editor if you create youtube videos and invest a bit little time in editing your videos then m6 mark 2 camera is suitable for you at the same time with m6 mark 2 camera you are getting digital image stabilization option so when you are creating your lifestyle vlogs while walking then of course m6 mark 2 camera will going to help you a bit more than of sony a6100 camera so more or less i find m6 mark 2 camera a bit more usable than of sony a6100 camera thank you very much for watching this video if you have any questions post in the comment section below do subscribe to our channel if you find this video useful and do give us a like thank you very much for watching this video.